right, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the UFC. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and you by the respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes. There is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. You've been there. You've done that. Baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight. Yeah, the champ walks again. And he wears that proudly. Johnny wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled, he's so dangerous, he's so scary. And he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued. And we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. And now to get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Ricky Boy. All right, Herb Dean, our referee for this one, just about to get underway. Good. Center in Newark, New Jersey. I'm told sports gambling is legal here, and we got a good UFC fight. Oh, wow. Sports gambling is legal. And John, you're right where you want to be. You're salivating. You're calling the fight, but you're thinking about the basketball game. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt. Checks the light kick.
Two minutes have gone by here, round one. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like, so when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Oh, perfect execution on the low kick. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume tonight. Jab, right hand, body shot, I mean, kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability for a combination. Oh, misses with the jab. Nice connection on the counter punch there, and oftentimes DC can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge in reach. All right, so we'll see what sort of defensive response ensues here. He's taking a lot of shots upstairs, and the swelling is there to prove. Got to keep those hands up. He might want to employ a high guard to try to ensure that the guy's not landing on those spots. Whoa! Roundhouse kick, add that to his highlight reel. All right, well, he's had his striking on point tonight, and as evidence, some swelling now on his head. Yeah, light swelling right now, but if he doesn't address it immediately, it'll turn to something much worse. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Push kick there to the body. Out of range with that one. Less than a minute to go in the round. Beautiful kick to the body. Well, he lands another strike there, DC. Oh, look at that. He can't even stand. Oh, nice elbow. Reach advantage was his at the outset, and he was able to take advantage there with the punch. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Lands a solid kick right there. Hardy right, gets the takedown out of DC. We'll see what he can do in this advantageous spot. He set it up beautifully. Let's see if he can now take full advantage of it. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. It's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Yeah. Know when to hold him. Know, know when, when to, to hold him. Yep, there absolutely. What a round it was for him, DC. And of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that he will try to piggyback on here in this next round. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how he builds off of the momentum that he gets from that last round. How does he deal with the success that he had and not push too hard too early trying to find the finish? You have to let it come to you as the knockdown came to you in the previous round. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a Great weakness. Fight. He found the spot, right. recognized an opportunity right. to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. Well, an appreciative capacity crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. That previous round, I mean, get the bonus checks ready. That was insane. It's done. These guys are taking home the $50,000. <laughs> they laid it all on the line. They dropped it. Just up. Oh, no. Throwing that low kick. Well, confidence is high. I repeat, confidence is high. And I got to think when you knock a fighter down in the previous round, that's going to think you can do it again. I mean, confidence is key in anything you do in regards to fight. So for him to secure that knockdown early, he has to feel good. Yeah. 
Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great... Oh! oh, big diving punch lands up top. Trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked, and keeping them in full guard. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Fighter trying to pass here, Uba gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Close guard. Oh, big shots from the top. Oh, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moments and they both showed true skill on the ground. Unable to land with that punch. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Beautiful kick lands there. Keep now. Well, I am not going out on a limb when I say he is on the wrong side of this fight. Maybe a little bit rattled after getting knocked down earlier in the round. But that's exactly what you expect, right? He took such a bad knockdown early. It's going to be on him to build back into this fight as we go forward. Back and forth we go. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. And he's looking for that left. It's not there. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Oh, nasty cut there. Right on the bridge of the nose. Left hook counter. Lot of different looks. He switches to southpaw now. One minute now to go in round two. That's how you do a beautiful kick by him there. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh, is he opened up now? Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. Lands a quick jab. 20 seconds left. Well, whatever works, now he switches his stance again. Nice land. Great punch. Seems to have timed that counter pretty well. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, back to the stools for 60 seconds. That gives us a chance to re-rack some replays, including what we believe is the strike that caused the cut on his nose. Yeah, beautiful strike that lands. Causes this cut. Opens him up on the bridge of the nose. It's not a bad cut. But if he continues to go forward, his opponent is a sniper. And he's going to keep hitting him in that same spot. Move your head. Really choose the time in which you're going to advance to try to get to this guy. you got to be careful, though, because he is so good at picking his shots. And, of course, it's hard to know the extent to which that has compromised his breathing. But that corner was fired up. 
They want him to be more de defensively sound as this fight continues. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Going orthodox now. Oh! Feels like the beginning of the end. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it works. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Oh, no. He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish them. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And hey, to each his own, I guess. I'd be rushing out of that octagon. Yeah, you don't play with your food. No. in the engagement there. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Well, you thought the cut man did his job, but that cut on the nose is just nasty, and it is pouring blood now. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. Looked like he clipped him with a left-hand counter there. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Oh. oh, another huge ground strike landed by him there. How much more can one man take? Back to the feet now. Head kick blocked. You know, a lot of people say those are... Oh. We'll do it! Oh my god! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Buffer is in the octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, two seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed USC heavyweight champion of the world, Butcher. Well, DC, you know how much I love crowning new champions yeah. and when we get to see these men and women realize these dreams. But to do it at heavyweight, man, just incredible to see this guy realize a UFC title. And you look at the emotion on his face. You could tell that this is a dream that he has had for a long time. And now it is realized. Congratulations to the champ and his entire team. And best of luck trying to defend it, Oh, by the yeah, way. man. This is volatile. Look, they got a whole bunch of hungry wolves lining up to take that belt.